Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now today we are reviewing a locomotive. Now if you cast your minds back, uh, if you've been subscribed to me for a while now, if you cast your minds back to late 2013, you'll remember that I did a video on this and also the 2012 Collector Club Loco from Hornby. Um, now as that was shot with my old camera, it wasn't the best quality and I wasn't really happy with it. And I only realised a couple of days ago that I hadn't reviewed this with HD quality. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I better do it. Um, now, I'm going to review the 2012 one as well. Uh, so that'll come, that actually may be the next video. Um, but anyway, so there shouldn't be a long review. I'm aiming for about mm, 13, 14 minutes. Um, but Hornby box, uh, just the standard really. Got the nice drawing on the front. I do like those drawings. They're quite, they're quite good. Um, and then we've got R three two one three Southern Railway 040 Hornby Collector Club Loco 2013. And then you've just got your barcode. Um, what have we got on the back? Oh yeah, not suitable for children under three years, etc. Um, so we get this uh, open. It is just. Polystyrene. Oh, I might, I might just maneuver the light. There we go. Um, so yeah, just a standard box. Just gonna close that curtain a bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, just got this card insert. Uh, that doesn't serve any purpose other than telling you what the locomotive is. Now, truth be told, you've got the instructions. And if I'm being honest, I did have to print another one of these off. Just off the Hornby website, um, I lost the other set as long uh, as as well as if I can speak as well as the 2012 one. The instructions are not in there. I don't think they might be. Anyway, so instructions. Now it, everyone who has an O4O should have this set of instructions. You've got locomotive operation, where to oil it, because the O4 the O4Os are so um, widely produce there's many different body shapes there's lots of different ways of like getting the body off etc so you've got different body shapes um, and then it's uh, to remove the motor fit new motor and lubrication on the back do you've got you've got track cleaning locomotive bodywork and TV suppression but it, I don't get why they put that in there I suppose it's just to Keep them safe, really. Safety notes, you know, blah de blah, all the stuff that no one reads. But there you go. And then you will be surprised that I've kept this in the tissue paper. Now, uh, this came with the tissue paper, as most models do in this packaging. Um, and I have kept it in here because it actually was kind of nice. Um, so there is the model there. It all wrapped up. And then you've got the typical one hole in the back. And we'll get it out of the box. Now, uh, this tissue paper has been kept in actually not bad condition. I think I probably ripped it there, not the cat, as is usually the case. Um, but yeah, so here is the model. Very nice locomotive. Um, and it's a very simple loco. I mean, it's not very uh, big. <laughs> to say the least, it's only an 040, but um, so yeah, you've got your driving axles and then your cogs and gears and all that. Uh, we'll start at the front, uh, we'll put it that way so it's in the light. Uh, you've got your smoke box start and all the handrails etc on the front, that is all moulded, um, and your buffers and your number um, there. If I get my fingers in the right place, you've got your number there. And the beginnings of what looks like a hook, but isn't. Um, and also a um, large coupling. Uh, now this is good as... Um, I mean, the majority of my wagons are sort of 80s-ish. Quite a few Buckman ones, though, um, that have been added lately. But um, no, we got large coupling, which are good for, you know, big wagons with big couplings if that makes any sense you've got the sa uh, safety valves and is there a whistle 
I don't know. Maybe. Hmm, who knows. But you got your safety valves and your dome. And then, obviously, there is your water filler caps to fill the tanks. You've got the lovely Great Western um, copper cap chimney. Now, that is odd because it's a Southern Railway loco, so why is it gold? But I actually think it suits the gold quite well. Um, what was that? Hmm. I'll just... Oh, yes, yeah, got a bit of a mark on there, but that's just rubbed off. Now, have... Look at what they've done with the number, 3102. Now, if you read that backwards, 2013. Ha ha, Hornby, you are hilarious. It's because this was the 2013 Collectors Club, they wanted to have a play on, play on the number, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, going into the cab, I have added... A realistic coal load that is with Woodland Scenics lump coal and it improves it dramatically and then if I um there's a driver in there now you're wondering where the fireman is well he fell out and if I show a picture right uh, in a minute or two uh, you'll see where he is now <laughs> And, yeah, so, got a nice riveted roof. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's a very nice livery application of the... I think this is... Uh, what livery is this? Is this Maunsell Olive Green, I'd imagine? Then you've just got the number on the back. And then there's a hole for vacuum pipes. That's one thing I forgot to mention. The box did come with accessories. Uh, two vacuum pipes, I think, and a driver and fireman. And I've sort of kind of fitted them but um yeah so that is uh the locomotive really so what's left to do other than put it on the track uh i've got a couple of coaches lined up for it and i uh, will uh, get some running shots right so we have our locomotive drifting into shot now and we will put it on the track um, so I've got a couple of hawks with not all three, just the two composites on the outer loop ready for it to pull. Just give it a bit of a... Yeah, she runs... She, blah, blah, she runs really well. So I'll couple it up. Oh, perfectly coupled. That's quite good for a large one on a small one. <laughs> Excuse the innuendo, but there you go. So, uh, yeah. We will get her running.
And there she is, the Hornby 2013 Collector Club Loco. What a lovely piece of kit she is. Um, what can I say, really? Um, it's a simple model, but the running is great, as you can see. Runs very smoothly, and with a little bit of improvement, like adding crew, adding a coal load, the vacuum pipes, um, it can be a lovely loco. Now, there is more I want to do on this loco. I want to detail it quite a bit, because it is probably my best 040 on the fleet out of the other three. Um, but, um, what can I say? <laughs> it's a really, really nice loco. So, as always, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook, not as Cruisley Road Model Rail. I've changed it, so it is Cruisley Road 4472 on Facebook. And uh, don't forget that. Please go like uh, that page. It's a great page. More frequent updates on the layout. As you, uh, or as I do things, I post pictures, etc. So, um, yeah, please remember to. Oh, I've done all that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, what can I say? See you later.